And if there's one thing that Fallout taught us, it's that war, well, you know the rest. Thanks for watching. Jesus Christ. That's the best video I've seen all day. Let's check the comments. Uh, storyteller? Storyteller? Okay. Are there any comments about the video? Just wanted to say really interesting vid and love you guys. Nice. And where is Storyteller? Son of a bitch. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds of all ages, shapes, sizes, at long last, we have a Storyteller update for you. I'm happy to say that just a few days ago, Bethesda announced in a Game Informer interview that the Creation Kit will be coming soon, and that is exactly the news we've been waiting for. For those of you who don't know what that is, the Creation Kit is a tool that allows Bethesda fans to create custom content in their games. In the past, it has been a crucial tool we've used to create the Storyteller series. Simply put, the Creation Kit is like the Platinum Chip, and we're like Mr. House. We've been waiting somewhat impatiently for it to arrive. Also, we would eventually like to rule the world of YouTube. Bethesda said they're aiming to release the kit in April. So the day that drops will be the day that we can officially begin filming for Season 4. While our hands are tied until then, I can update you on what the Storyteller team has been working on behind the scenes. Tommy and Ben have been familiarizing themselves with the console commands in Fallout 4. From speaking with them, it looks a lot like the experience they had filming in Fallout New Vegas will transfer over to the Fallout 4 game engine, but also a lot has changed. The background footage you're watching now is what they created while they were messing around with the new commands. On the modding side of things, we have our work cut out for us. Since we'll be filming the next season entirely in Fallout 4, we need to recreate each character in the new engine. Sadly, we weren't able to afford to hire a team of mod developers like I had hoped, but that didn't stop you guys from contributing in other ways. A mod developer by the name of Unoctium has volunteered his time for our cause, and the armor pieces he's been creating, they just look really awesome. His ranger armor is currently available on the Nexus, and we'll be using it to recreate Ranger Tanner. I'll go ahead and include a link to his Nexus page in the description, so please visit him and tell him how much you appreciate what he's doing for the shoddy cast. The man is a freaking saint. Uh, in other storyteller related news, I would like to talk about the Elder Scroll storyteller. You might have noticed that he has gone on a bit of a hiatus, and well, that wasn't entirely intentional. You see, the shoddy cast has always recruited talent wherever we can find it. And a lot of the times that talent comes from different parts of the world. And while it's worked pretty well for us in the past, I'm afraid it, it tripped us up a little bit this time. The film artist that works on the Elder Scrolls Storyteller series happens to live in Greece. Uh, without getting into the boring details of it all, we have been unable to pay him due to some weird uh, Greek business laws. So yeah, that has put a stop to the Elder Scrolls Storyteller, at least for now. Anyway, I think that's all the storyteller related news and updates I had for you guys. I appreciate you hanging tight while we make this transition period from old Fallout to new Fallout. I hope you've been enjoying the other content we've been producing here on the channel. Um, Austin has been blowing it up out there and we could not be more excited about it. Also, I would like to welcome uh, Andrew to the cast who recently joined us uh, from across the pond in Scotland. Tommy, Ben, Charles, Jason, Karen, and the rest of the Storyteller team look forward to their return. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for now. Stay hungry, stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.